What's one thing that made you say never fucking again? And why? Attempting to catch my dog's shit in the bag rather than picking it up from the ground. Seemed like a good idea. Dog sharted up my arm. Had a long walk back home through my neighborhood covered in shit. Never again. Yeah, your dog probably thought it was weird and said never again as well. This sounds like something I would do. It always seems like such a good idea at first and I can't figure out why everyone isn't doing it this way. Then boom. There's an ass explosion and I'm on the bad end of it. Purchased a bag of 150 mint mentos as a study snack. Got stuck into an assignment and somehow ate the entire bag over a 12 hour period. Next day my partner and I walked our dogs down to a cafe. Stomach becomes sore while we drink our coffee. I look to the toilet but it's a busy cafe with a single toilet. Figure I'll just wait to do my business back home, about a half hour walk away. As we start walking back I begin to sweat. Cramps become unbearable. Give my partner the dog lead and tell her I need to run. She doesn't know what's going on. I start sprinting. Which then makes the stomach cramps so much worse. Realize I'm not going to make it. Almost crying from the stomach cramps. See a bush. Can't hold it. Pull pants down. Don't quite succeed. Shit everywhere. Bush isn't concealed. Other dog walkers walk past and dog runs up. Mortified. Still can't stop shitting. Partner sees me. My pug happy to see me. Runs straight up and into my Mentos diarrhea. Haven't eaten Mentos ever again. It's a fun story now but god did that day suck. Partner loves to bring it up at dinner parties. Does your partner now call you the fresh maker? Runs straight up and into my Mentos diarrhea. Not a sentence you see often in your life. Laughed so hard, tears in eyes. Yesterday I was in a hurry and not being very safe and put a one quarter of an inch drill bit through my hand. Could have been 100% avoided by taking even the slightest of safety precautions but I was frustrated and rushing to finish. Never again will I not take the simple moment to do it correctly. How is your hand? Did you have to go to the hospital? Getting an endometrial biopsy. Worst pain of my life. If I ever get cancer they can just take the whole damn uterus out, I'm not going through that again without anesthesia. Cervical colposcopy here. My mom had to help me get to the car afterwards. I was white as a sheet. They said it wouldn't hurt. That was a lie. Oddly the subsequent cry or surgery hurt much less. I got a bone marrow biopsy in my hip once and even with local anesthesia it was one of the worst pains of my life. The sound of the drill didn't help. Alcohol and cocaine. Almost ruined my life. Started drinking at 16, started doing coke at 26, and took till I was damn near 41 to quit. Dumped my last baggie of blowout beside my garage 23 years ago and haven't touched the shit since. Hello 63 64 year old Redditor. I'm one month sober from alcohol and cocaine this weekend. Do the cravings ever stop? I'm going to drink again with friends or socially but I never want to do coke. Problem is the two go hand in hand. I had my gallbladder removed after a gallstone. I thought I was having a heart attack and called an ambulance. While I waited I started arrange all of my finances for my wife. The hospital ran a zillion tests, told me it was a gallstone, and the only real solution was to remove the whole gallbladder if it came back. If it came back. Yup. Fuck that shut. I told the doctor I would never go through that pain again and he could schedule me for surgery then and there. I've had women tell me the pain from a gallstone lodged in the duct is worse than childbirth and I believe them. No way was I going through that again. I did the same thing when I got told I had gallstones. I told the ER to go ahead and set me up for surgery because I was not leaving to go through that again. Later that day it was out since the surgeon agreed with me. 
It's not an if but when it comes back. No regrets removing it. My ex. We were giving long distance a shot, it was an on and off relationship for like 3 years. I traveled 18 hours to see him only to find out he had been cheating on me and no one from his circle even knew I existed. I cried for a straight 18 hours bus ride back home. Never fucking again. I am in a relationship that started as a LDR and I think that waiting longer than one year is just pointless. Now we live together and I can't imagine not having all that time together. When I was like, 11 I had some friends, the kids that lived next door, over and we were just hanging out, playing video games all night. My mom ordered Papa John's for us. We tore the pizza up like the ravenous savages we were and continued gaming. That night the boy stayed over while his sisters and little brother went back home. We go to bed that night and at some point one of us, can't remember who, began to throw up, which woke the other one up. My mom rushes in and helps clean up the mess. Once the vomiting stops we go back to bed. But then before long ITD start again. Just like before, sometimes I was first, sometimes it was him. Sometimes we could get to the bathroom on time, sometimes we couldn't. My mother, the saint of a woman she is, cleaned up all of that vomit. Apparently things were no better at their house. To this day some 15 years later I refuse to eat Papa John's. I'm sure it was just a one time thing but once was enough. Same thing happened to me, though it was KFC. I refused to eat it again after being the sickest I've ever been, throwing up for 4 days straight. A few years later I was out with a friend and they wanted KFC so I decided that it's unlikely to happen again and had some. The worst decision. I again was so sick, I'll never ever eat it again. Amniocentesis, having a giant needle stuck through my pregnant belly and being dug around to get a sample triggered my fight slash flight and I was sweating so much from the intensity. I didn't watch while they did it but my mother-in-law was there and started crying while they were digging around. She held my hand, looked at me with tears in her eyes and tried to calmly say it's okay, you're okay. I still have nightmares about it 10 years later. Digging around? WTF? I think you got a particularly terrible amnio person. I don't even remember it beyond being nervous going in. I actually forgot I'd had one till I read this. God, awful. So sorry that was your experience. I had that. The only pain I felt was from them pushing down so hard on my belly to keep the baby out of the way of the needle. The actual needle didn't hurt at all. Even though it was like a foot long. I watched the whole thing on the ultrasound screen. Living with a couple. Roommates suck in general but a three times in my life I split an apartment with a couple and it was awkward at best, and truly miserable when they fought. I currently live with a couple myself and it's my first time and it fucking sucks, I never want to do this again. Especially during quarantine. Forget about it edit, I guess my biggest issue is that they are absolutely horrible together and I have a feeling they don't want to break up out of complacency so I'm always caught in their fights. I didn't move in to be a fucking mediator or therapist for their shitty decisions. I live with my wife, son, and twice divorced best friend from college. It's seriously great for us. I have someone to talk philosophy and action movies with, my wife has someone to talk to and hang with when I need my introvert time, my son has an adult friend who's not an authority figure to confide in, and my friend has family interactions and cheap room and board. It's been 5 years and we all couldn't be happier. Edit, to all you with thruple slash cheating comments. Reddit and r slash relationship advice has ruined you. Reach eating, I trust them both implicitly, and even if I didn't, this wouldn't work for a multitude of reasons, including differing romantic tastes and practicalities like not getting caught. But none of those reasons really matter, because if I can't trust my wife with my best friend, I certainly can't trust her with my neighbor, or her co-worker, or a phone that could have a dating app secretly installed. But I do trust her, and she's never given me reason to doubt. 
I've been cheated on before in my life, and I know what it looks and feels like, and this isn't it. Same goes for my friend, but obviously it's more important from my wife. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.